<laughs> All right, we're here at uh, Agile India 2017 with Steve Porter from Scrum.org. Yeah. Uh, and we were having a really good conversation about, and you'd, you'd uh, very honestly said, it's like Scrum's got a brand problem, and I totally agree with that. And it does make me a little sad, because I have a development background, and I've gone through a lot of wa bad waterfall projects, and I really appreciated Scrum for its simplicity and its ability to allow me to deliver really great things to my customers. But as it becomes more and more popular and more people are using it, there are lots of opportunities to misunderstand it, to, to maybe do things incorrectly, and to just not get the full benefit. So uh, part of my job uh, as a team member at scrum.org is to work with people to help them get the most out of the framework. It's really simple, straightforward stuff that you can certainly overcomplicate it and make it more painful. We were talking about, I've, or I've talked about um, velocity, uh, story points, how that becomes the main goal of a sprint is how many story points you can get out. And I just work really hard with companies to go back to the basics. It's like, well, are you delivering value? Uh, are you delivering, are you putting working software in production every 30 days or less? That really basic, simple stuff that people just may have just forgotten. So some, something I, I, I heard you say that I, I thought was kind of interesting is people yeah. will complain about Scrum. I don't like Scrum because of these reasons. And yeah. you were saying that those, usually what they're describing isn't really Scrum. So there's many myths about Scrum. There are many myths. And uh, one of the things that I've always referred back to, and this is, this is something that Ken and Jeff has struggled with for, from very early on. So they basically published a Scrum guide, which is, I think it's like 16 pages, super, super tiny. It's like, here's the rules of Scrum. Really simple, really basic. And anything outside of that that you're doing that's making you better, excellent. Go do it. We're not going to tell you to stop. But if you're doing things that are painful and they're not in the guide, I just kind of say, well, those are your own dysfunctions. Don't blame Scrum for those. And things like, you know, we'd really like to release software multiple times a day because we want to do continuous delivery. But Scrum says we can only release once a sprint. And I'm like, uh, that's a myth. Right. There's nothing in the Scrum Guide that says you can't release whenever you're ready. What we do say is at least once every 30 days, you should have something that's ready to go to production. But if you can do it 30 times a day, oh, I'm going to high five you. I, I think that's really, really great. Um, so that's, that's a really common myth. Um, everything's got to be estimated in story points. You've got to track velocity. You can't have part-time team members. Um, oh man, we, we're doing a blog series right now at uh, scrum.org where we're just kind of going through all of these myths just to remind people that if you're doing Scrum and it's painful, some of those pains you might not have to do because they're not Scrum. It, it sounds like a lot of these myths actually are related to uh, impressions people have of, of Scrum being an extremely rigid process. Yeah, and I certainly hear that all the time. But Scrum is process heavy. And I'm like, what? Like, I can describe Scrum in probably about two minutes, maybe even less. I mean, it's got three roles, it's got five, uh, three artifacts, five events. Each one of them can be described in a, in a sentence or two. And if you add that all up, again, it's 16 pages. Um, like, I've worked for some companies where their process for developing software is a book this thick. Um, there are certainly some, even some other agile methods out there where their poster up in the wall is incredibly complicated and really hard to follow. And Scrum, very lightweight. Very, very, so very, we, very lightweight. Would you encourage people then to try and focus on keeping things simple, keep their process simple? Yeah, absolutely. Go and have a look at the Scrum Guide. Uh, see the, go and look at the essence of the roles, events, and artifacts. If someone, if you're doing something you hate, um, let's say it's the daily stand-up. It's like, man, I really hate this stand-up thing. Why do I have to stand up? This is really stupid. I hate doing this. Go look in the Scrum Guide. Nothing in there at all about standing up. Basically says get together with the team members for no more than 15 minutes, come up with a plan for the day. That's all it says. So I really encourage you, if you think there's something that Scrum makes you do that sucks, go and have a look at the Scrum Guide. See if it's there. Great. Well, I really enjoyed talking to you, Steve. Yeah. Um, Thank you very much. And uh, I think this is going to be a really great conference. It is. I really, this is my second time I've been here. Had a great time. The opening keynote was really good. Really great speakers. And it's just great being here. All right. Thanks. Okay. Thanks.